Hey, what's going on, guys? Clutch here. We're, um, yeah, making our run from Hazard County. And, uh, well, we're out out in the county in Lakeland County now. Just trying to kind of lay low. Nice area, though. Look at this. I just saw a boat go by a second ago. Is it still there? Oh, it's right. Look, we're getting some fuel. Trucks at the fuel station there. Uh, we got Mike's truck. There it is. There it is. There it is. Look at that. Cruising through the river. Man, we should go on a lake cruise. That looks nice. Um, anyways, I digress. Yeah, things are, are not great for us right now. I've tried to kind of stash some of our cash, get rid of it for the time being. We're going to need to lay low for a little bit here. And, uh, well, we've got some relatives up here in Lakeland County. We should have got the Chev all cleaned up at least. That's nice, doesn't it? I think it looks pretty good. But, uh, yeah, so we've got, to, we've got to lay low for a bit. I've got some family. They've got a small farm here out in Lakeland County. Nice shack, though. Uh, I was here one long time ago. Long, long time ago we were out here. And things are looking pretty good now. It's a nice little area. But they got a small farm, like I said. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. They said they've got a spot for me to stay and hide out. Lay low until, you know, things kind of cool down a little bit. So uh, we'll just be seeing if we can hide out, I guess. Well, uh, I don't know. We'll see how this works out, guys. We've got some plan plans ahead of us. Hopefully uh, hopefully we can just kind of hide out here. Maybe do a little bit of work. Help the people. How about the old family? We'll see if that works out. I'm not sure exactly yet what's going to be able to be possible out here. Um, I mean, if I have to hang out on the beach all day, I guess I could do that too. That's not bad. I would take that. I mean, look at this. Nice boardwalk. We'll go get some street meat. I'm in. <laughs> uh, yeah, that maybe, I don't know. This seems like a nice place to hang out. I, I'm okay with this. Anyways, uh, just going through town. We're going to head up the hill and get out of here and head over to uh, his farm. He's got a couple things we need to take care of first. Number one, I got to ditch this truck and uh, we'll go see where our new digs are at. All right, let's do this thing. Hit or batter. Oh, I think the farm is just right in here. I believe this is his farm. This is what I remember. Oh, yeah, this is it right here. This is it right here. Look at this place. Oh, look at the Ford he's got. Oh, not bad. Not bad. You know I'll just pull him beside him here. We'll uh, take a little look around, shall we? Yeah, this is right. Now, we were. I was out here just a young buck. And things were, uh, this is a nice old house, actually. Look at this shack. Holy shnikes. Guys, this is, this is a pretty nice looking house. I forgot how nice this place was. And you know what? All I can remember is hanging out at the pool all summer long out here. Look at that. I don't know if anyone's home here. I don't think anyone's around. Uh, we'll scooch up on top of the patio here. Yeah, here we go. Big patio. Man, this is, this is good to be back here, guys. This is fantastic. I am excited to be back here. Uh, let me go inside. We'll go see if anyone's around. And uh, I'll see what uh, we're about to this shack he's got planned out. I know they've got some property around the county here. So uh, I'm sure there's some place I can, I can hide out for a bit. All right. No, one, no one's home, guys. I don't know. I uh, just got a note here. I said, go stash my truck in the east shop. Trade it out for the other truck that's there says there's a, a place I could stay down by the cottages. He's got some work I need to do anyways. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like he's putting us to work right away here. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we'll just head down there. He says he's got more information down than on uh, the property. We'll go take a look and see what we got. So first of all, East Shop. Let's go see the East Shop here. We'll get rid of this truck. Pretty a smart idea. I told him that, uh, yeah, we, I don't want to be really seen driving this thing around. I don't think it's that descriptive a truck, but... You know what? I don't know how many uh, K30s you're going to see driving around nowadays. Probably a good truck to get rid of. So, here we go. East shop right here. I'm going to just pull it into these doors here. Uh, let's go see if we can get inside. Leave it running. Let's go open this garage door up. So he's got a truck. Oh, there we go. He's got a truck in here for us. Oh, sweet. Look at this. Not bad. I'll take that. That's sweet. All right. That's pretty cool, actually. I mean, it's not going to be towing much. I mean, these old uh, these old Toyotas, they aren't exactly the most powerful truck out there for towing, but you know what, guys? This is uh, going to be fun to drive, at least, and you know what? Reliable. <laughs> Definitely reliable. Get this garage door open. We'll just swap these out. We'll stick the, the Chev in here. Let's get this Toyota out of here. Let's jump on in. Oh, sweetness. Oh, man. This thing sounds good. This thing's been done up. Something fierce. 
All right, let's just pull her on out. Get the K30 hidden kind of all the way in the back. Maybe we'll give this a paint job just to kind of hide that thing away. Uh, I got to close this up. Go, let's close that. Lock everything up here. And now let's go see if we can figure out where this piece of property is. Now he says down in the cottage. I kind of remember. I think it's just down to the south side over here. We'll take a look. We'll take the Toyota out. This is, man, this truck has been done up something fierce. Look at this. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not complaining. This is a, a nice update, guys. This is, just say here, buckle up. I want to try something. That sounds about accurate for me. Uh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head on out. I'm just going to do a quick drive through the farm here. See what he's got. So he's got uh, quite a bit of equipment out here. Oh, a bunch of stuff over this here way. Uh, we've got some pens. We've got some silage pits. I know he's got some animals out here as well. But we'll take a closer look at that later on. But no one's out here right now, so... Oh, man. Got all the old John Deere stuff we got back down over there. We've got all sorts of equipment lined up in here. We've got some sprayers. Got some cedars, some planters, We've got some, uh, lots of everything. We got everything in here. Got a New Holland harvester down there. Looks like a Peterbilt right here. Guys, this is looking pretty good. It's a nice looking farm. Look at these big sheds, too. I do like these shops. Oh, what is this? Oh, hang on. Is that an 8530? Is that what I think it is? Oh, man. 8400R. Nice. Nice looking tractor. That, that's not bad with Big Elmer's grub, or, um, auger wagon. Yeah. What a nice setup. Wow. Um, I'm not going to have a problem hanging out with this. This is great. I'll come out here and uh, do some farming for sure. Things are looking pretty good here. Sweet. Well, anyways. We'll have to worry about that later on. Uh, let's go take a quick look at what we've got for a farm. I know he's got some work he wants me to do down below. Uh, he said there's some property there that uh, hasn't been touched. And that's kind of where they've uh, got me staying. Now, it doesn't sound like this is going to be the best place in the world for long term. But, you know what? Whatever. If it's a bed to stay in, uh, I can kind of hide out. That's that's fine with me. That's all I really need. I don't need five stars. <laughs> I don't need room service. Let's put it that way. I can't even think of the last time I was down here. Look at this view, though. It looks so good. Such a nice view down at the bottom of the hill here. Scooch on all the way down. Look at this. Big fields down here too. I wonder if we've got any vineyards out in the county here. That'd be something to get into, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know if I want to be getting into that. Alright, so down here this is Cottage Lane. Uh, he had a couple properties down here. But he said it's kind of past. There's a new place that he's put in. It said hit the dirt road into the fields. And we'll find where we're... Uh, where he's sticking out. I don't see. Looks like the last place here. Oh, here's the dirt road right ahead of us. We'll just kind of cruise in here and take a look. See what we've got talking about. Okay, there's like a bit of a shed here. What we got here? We got an old silo. Looks like an old silo. And... Oh, nice. Okay, there's some... What? That's old equipment, that's for sure. Like, look at that. Huh. Old shed here. All right. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Um, yeah, I think this is our place. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Well, he did say we were going to be roughing it for a bit. and I, I was expecting something a bit more. I mean, it's a nice trailer, I suppose. <laughs> um, I guess I really can't complain. I mean, look at the view we're going to get here. Not bad. I mean, we're right lakefront. I mean, look at that. Sweet. Let me go inside the trailer and check this out. Well, guys, it's not a lot of space, but it's more than what I'm going to need. Let's be honest. It's a bed. And you know what? So, a bit of a story time here. We've got a little bit of property here. See these fields? For a quick walkabout. Uh... This is all part of some of the land he's got subdivided, but has not been farming this stuff. And uh, you know what? This is going to be our eligibility for money. Uh, you know what? We've got a place to stay. He said he's going to help us get back on our feet with a little bit of work. 
So we're allowed to work this field. Now, these fields have not been worked in a number of years. I mean, look at this. Like, dry it up. I don't know what's down there. I can see kind of down towards that far shed. I think that shed's ours, too. I think he's, uh, that's all part of the same property. So he's allowing us to work these fields. Uh, we're going to work the fields. We're going to see if we can plant some stuff in here. We can use some of the equipment he's got back at his farm. Now, he said, the only thing we've got down here, well, it's in this shed. And that's going to be kind of, well, ours. That's what we're allowed to use. That's what we've got. And uh, whenever we need anything extra, he said, we can always come borrow it from him until we get back on our feet, at least. We don't have a, a lot to spend here, let's be perfectly honest. Uh, I'm trying to hide as much of the money that we made from Hazard someplace else. But we'll, let's see what we got here. He said he's got some old equipment to get us started, at least. Yeah, I'll say some old equipment. Look at this old fireball. Come on. And a plow. Like, there's... Come on, look at the size of these fields. I'm going to be here all day. Well, you know what? We're going to be back at our feet a bit. Um, 11.30. It's going to take me the rest of the day to get these two fields plowed up. But they definitely need it. I mean, these fields have not been touched for years, it looks like. I need the plow. I need the lime. I need everything into these things. So, uh, we'll get started, I guess, guys. Now, he said there should be a full tank of fuel in this thing. Keys were inside the trailer. I got the keys on me. Get this thing fired up, at least. Uh, he says it still runs pretty good. Looks like it's in good shape. Let's crank her over. Let's see how she sounds. Shall we? Let's do this. Go, go, go. Oh, nice. You know what? Sounds pretty good. All right. You know what? I guess it's better than using a horse and buggy. Let's be perfectly honest here. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's hook this thing up. Or head nice and slow. been a long time since I've driven an open cab tractor. Oh, man. Back this on up. We'll grab this plow. You know what? It could be a lot of worse things for me. If anything, I know how to farm. We can make some decent money with this, hopefully. Uh, I mean, the county is not too, too big. So we'll see what we could do out here as far as, as far as finances go. But we've got two decent-sized fields. It's also said we can help out with uh, the main fields. He'll pay us a decent farm wage as well to give him a hand back on the main farm. Let's see here. We've got this Curveland small plow. What is that? About a three and a half meters, I guess. Something along those lines. This is going to take us some time. Let's hook this thing on up. All right. Looks good. Everything's secured. Good stuff. Up we go. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's get started. We've got a lot of work ahead of us today. Now, I haven't checked this silo out yet. This looks like a pretty small silo. Oh, man. I hope it still works. Like, it's got a bit of a trough there. I hope we can fire that up. Let's take a quick look while we go by here. You know what? It looks like it should still work. We'll have to give this thing a test later on. Uh, I mean, we're not going to find out for a while. But we'll see how big that is. I don't even know. Maybe we can ask uh, Uncle Joe there to see what, what he thinks. Big enough? Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is for these two crops up here. I mean, they must have used something when they were farming this regularly, right? Like, you'd think that... Uh, that something like that would be used fairly regularly out here, and that would be the whole point of it. All right, let's drop this down. Pull on ahead. Oh, man, we got a big hill to climb here now, too. All right, let's get right on over. It's been so long since I've had to drive anything this small. <laughs> and this is just going to take some serious time. All the way up. I got the power, though. I was kind of wondering if this little tractor could actually handle pulling something this size all the way up and down um, but I'm going to have to get my bearings straight like look at this, I'm missing all sorts of stuff on the left there we got to get everything right on over so make sure you got to get right on the side here, we have no GPS of course on this, we're open cabinet I don't even got a radio Man, I'm going to have to go buy some headphones or something for my, my, my phone um, I got nothing with me right now, I was not expecting this, I mean, I was kind of hoping to be perfectly honest that he was going to loan us something a little bit, um more modern? I, I think modern would be the right word for it. <laughs> but, uh, not bad, though. I'll, you know what? I can't complain, I suppose. It's free. We're out in the nice... Look at this. I mean, other than my driving, this looks fantastic. Look at that. Holy. All right, we'll get up the top. Spin her back around. I'm just going to go back and forth. A little work here. We'll see if we can uh, get this plowed up. It's going to take us all day to do this, though. I mean... Look how much we've got to go. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, it's been a while, folks. It has been a while. Oh, look at this. We're at the end. We're up at the top. There you go. All right. Well, that's not bad. 
Uh, next time, if I can maybe find a way to uh, hit the, the field properly, we'll come down and we'll do the edges again one, later on, but that's all right. Let's spin this bad boy around. Oh, wow, this thing cranks over fast. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a, a toss-up because we do definitely want to uh, try to grab as much as we can, of course, to maximize this small plow width. With, but at the same time, you do, don't want to be missing because that just defeats the whole purpose of me doing this, doesn't it? We'll see. I'm hoping that old Uncle Joe's got something else down at that farm that we can maybe do a little bit of work with later on, but... Well, we're still getting stuff done. This is going to work just fine. It's just that it's uh, a little bit more work. Come on, get all over there. Get over there. Nice. Yeah, it's just a little bit more work for the time being. Looks good, though. Nice looking tractor. Look at that. I find it so much more difficult going on this side. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't seem to get the uh, the blade close enough to the edge. Uh, this one, this curved one, does not switch around. Like some plows, they actually flip. This one here, unfortunately, does not, and I'm missing stuff because of it. I, I kind of wish it would just kind of spin to be able to go upside down. Unfortunately, the way this thing's set up, it does not do that, so I'm kind of fighting with it a little bit here. Uh, it's okay. I'll get the hang of this in a bit. It's just going to take a little bit of uh, getting used to, I suppose. Yeah, it does not flip, unfortunately. It does look like it should, but no, well, maybe not. Actually, no, no. If you look at this back wheel, it doesn't. Uh, yeah. Anyway, some of the newer ones, of course, you can flip those so they can go both directions. This one, no luck. Not a big deal there. Not a big deal. Anyways, we'll uh, keep on plowing through this field. I got some touch-ups to do here at some point. But, uh, and this is going to some time. All right, guys. Let's do this thing. Let's go with Speedy. Let's go. making our way through this field. Uh, I even went back and I took care of a little bit. You can kind of see I took care of most of the stuff on the far side there, but it's a bit of a mess. Uh, I got I had to go back a couple of times. I'm not going to lie, guys. I had to go back a few times and just kind of clean some stuff up here and there. This plow is so hard to work with. It's just so small. Like even right here, I'm going to have to fix that on the next pass because I missed the corner, of course. I was just a bit premature there. Uh, I find if I get the left corner tire kind of off the side, we should be okay. Anyways, tractor's been handling pretty good so far. Just, it's slow. <laughs> it's a little bit of work, uh, as you can tell. Yeah, just a little bit of work. We're just kind of putting around in the field. <laughs> it's relaxing, at least. I mean, it's 4.30 now. We've been out here for what it feels like forever. What the? Oh, does that fuel gauge actually work? Oh, the fuel gauge actually works. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> We're out of fuel. Um, I spoke too soon, apparently. All right. Well, where's our truck? Let's go get some fuel. <laughs> of course. Of course we're getting fuel. <sighs> All right, we got uh, Uncle Joe's fuel trailer here. Oh, well, you can see it. It's kind of back there. <laughs> Let me just slow it down here. Uh, oh, slow it down. Oh, good. Uh, where's the turn? Nice. Forerunner's doing pretty good. Or this, uh, I guess this 2R, was the 2R4? 2MR4? I can't remember the name of these trucks. Not a bad truck. Yeah, this thing is actually pretty good. I mean, uh, it's towing this fuel trailer without an issue. Not a problem at all. We have to go do some off-roading with it at some point. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna, you know what? We don't have to worry about this crop. So I'm gonna stay on the grass and then cut right on through it. It's all good. It's all good. There we go, and uh, we're just going to pull on in, side the tractor here, fill this thing on up. Man, what a pain. Of course it happens, just as, uh, yeah, we're almost finished up this field, and then of course, yeah, that's the way it's going to happen, right? 
every single time. Let's start the old fuel pump up. What do we got in there? 18, 187 liters. Is that right? Looks like it's pretty close. Let's uh, jump on up the tractor, fill this thing on up. All right, let that get filled up. There we go. Should be pretty good, though, now that we got that fuel going in there. And that should about do it right there. That's all she took. You know what? Let's go uh, turn this truck off. And uh, let's fire this tractor back up. It didn't take that much fuel. I was kind of surprised there. Let's see if she fires up, shall we? Let's go. Yes, look at that fuel gauge. That fuel gauge is definitely broken. Oh, uh, man. We're not getting... It's not showing anything on there. It's empty. I thought it was full. It was actually empty. But we're full of fuel now. We just got a fresh tank in. So it's definitely not... That gauge is just not working. All right. Um, back to work. <laughs> uh, it's never simple. It's really... It's never simple. It's always something... Uh, yeah, guys. What do you do? Oh, well. We're almost done this. Uh, we do have another field right there. I'm not going to get that to, that to that today. I thought I could, but you can see this took us some sweet time. We're going to lime this still too afterwards before we plant. I'm going to go take a look and see what Uncle Joe's got for planters and cedars down there. Uh, I might go talk to some people in the county as well here and figure out what our best bet is going to be as far as, uh, as, far as crops out here. I don't know. We'll have to take a look. I'm not sure exactly yet. Nice country, though. I mean, this has got to be a what easternly facing, uh, easternly facing field, so should get lots of sun. Hopefully, we can find something that can handle it. I don't know what kind of rain we're gonna have to worry about getting out here, but we'll take a look at that later on. I'm not worried about it now. I just need to get this field prepped. We'll have to do some lime later on, and uh, we should be good to go after that. But anyways, that is gonna do it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed our uh, our first episode here. If you did, you guys know what to do. Drop that like. Don't forget to subscribe, as always. And guys, I will, um, I'll catch you next time. Have a good one, guys. This is Clutch. Over and out.